Hey there everybody. In this video we are going to hook up an emergency stop switch. This is probably the most important thing you need to do. This is a absolutely 100% necessary required mandatory safety feature for any CNC machine. You must have an emergency stop. So that's all this video is going to be about. We're going to hook up an emergency stop. And what I do, I have these emergency stops here that are sort of in a, a remote box. And rather than you know, mounting it in a fixed position, what I do is I use this, see if I can get a shot of this, 22 AWG two connector. There we go. 22 AWG two connector uh, strandit cable. And I bought this from Home Depot. And if I can get it to focus, can't focus. There we go. This is the cable that I use to hook up the emergency stops. And I use these remotely. So like the idea is when I'm working on my machine, I, I just, I set this close by wherever I want it to be. And uh, I know where to, where to go if I need to stop things quickly. So that's what I'm going to wire up. We're going to cover that and I'm going to show you how I do that. What we have here is the e-stop switch disassembled. And what I've done is I've drilled a 964 hole in the top of it where I want to feed the cable through, pulled the cable through, stripped back a few inches, crimped some ends on those cables with uh, my crimping tool, uses these ends. That's what the tool looks like. I have a video about that on my YouTube channel. Not, absol not absolutely necessary that you put those ends on your cables, but I like it. It just makes a better installation. So I've pulled the cable through, stripped it, crimped the ends on, tied a knot in the cable, and wired it in on the switch. First thing I want to point out, you'll notice three of the holes are the same. One of the holes has a tang on it. That's to maintain orientation. So the, the two halves of the housing only fit together one way. So make sure when you're marking out which side you want your cable to come through that it, it's where you really want it. Because, uh, you know, you may, you may put it together and realize the cable's coming out the bottom when you wanted it to come out the top. Also, notice this is a normally closed switch. And that's for safety reasons. So normally closed is safer than normally open, in my opinion. And I'll tell you why. So normally closed means... Everything system normal when the circuit is closed. Um, if the e-stop is pushed and the switch is pushed down, it breaks the circuit. It opens the circuit and it triggers the alarm. So normally closed is good. You know, when you think about the potential failure mode, you know, imagine the situation where your, the cable to your e-stop gets cut. Normally closed, if the cable gets cut, that opens the circuit, it triggers the e-stop, uh, e it stops the machine. If you wire up your e-stop normally open, now the system thinks when the circuit's open, everything is okay. Well, imagine now you've accidentally cut your e-stop cable. It's still open. The system still sees it open. Now you have an emergency. You need to stop the machine. You can't stop it. There's no way to close it because you've cut your e-stop cable. So that's why e-stops are generally wired up normally closed. And... Uh, you can even see that on the Centroid documentation. They show you e-stop switch, normally closed. There's a reason for that. Okay, let's, let's move on. Here are the connections for the e-stop. So we're going to use input 8. We're not, I'm not using these optional limit switches. We're going to go from input 8 through the switch all the way back too common. And that's exactly what we have right here. So you can see that's input 8. And the other side is going all the way back to common. So we're following the wiring diagram exactly as it's shown. Alright, in CNC Wizard, you want to make sure input 8 is e-stop OK. And now it should say normally closed not normally open. It 
So we can see that is working just as it is supposed to. This is a great time to point out if you press, I believe it's alternate I, alt I, you'll get this nice diagnostic uh, tool to pop up. These are all your inputs and outputs. So you can see right now input number eight is green. It's red. Green, red. So you can use this to check the status of all your inputs and outputs. So that's handy. That's just alternate I will show it or display it, hide it or, or display it, alternate eye. So there you go. We have an e-stop. We're now ready to move on to the next phase of this, this project, but we can uh, do so safely because we've, we've wired up our e-stop. Okay, thanks for watching. Be safe.